Hello, Andy from Outside Xbox here with new gameplay from Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It's got new stuff, old stuff, and old stuff that's changed slightly so is now new stuff. Let's have a look, shall we? Deus Ex Human Revolution had a decent cover system that let you move around cover objects or switch cover with a slightly awkward looking roll. Careful Adam, you'll hurt yourself. Mankind Divided introduces a new run to cover system that lets you point at a cover object and sprint towards it. As before, you can swap sides or round cover, but you can also now aim at an empty space and run to it, letting you time stealth runs for when enemies' backs are turned, or during combat make a dash for it during a break in fire. If that sounds too dangerous, why not go invisible as well? Which brings me to the next point. If you remember Deus Ex Human Revolution's energy system, it was governed by a system of batteries which you recharged by eating giant tubs of whey protein and cliff bars. Only the first battery recharged automatically, so if you played anything like me, you spent a lot of the game waiting behind cover for your battery to recharge. <sighs> I should have bought a book. Anyway, that's all changed now. Instead of batteries, energy is on one long bar which will gradually refill over time. However, some augmentations have a non-regenerating activation cost which lowers the maximum energy amount available to you. This is reset when you use something called a biocell, but biocells can also be used to power items in the world that can open up alternate routes, such as a scissor lift that can take you to a higher level. So using them will be a calculated risk. Tastes worse than a Cyberboost bar too, I'll bet. Adam's new Icarus Dash ability, as seen in the first trailer, can be used offensively as the Icarus Strike to take care of big groups of enemies, but it can also be used to dash across gaps quickly, get to high ground, or move across otherwise inaccessible routes, much like the Blink ability from Dishonored. This should come in handy for finding alternate paths or getting on subway trains just as the doors are closing. The main hacking minigame in Mankind Divided is much the same as in Human Revolution, but as you can see, it looks a lot prettier. The big change to hacking is the addition of the remote hack ability. Target something hackable, play a kind of golf swing minigame, and you can do anything from turning off a TV to move a guy out of position, to deactivating a laser grid, to temporarily disabling a security camera so you can stack those unconscious guards like Jenga blocks, Adam, you weirdo. Several weapons can now be charged to give them secondary effects. When fired normally, Adam's nanoblade launcher will cause guys to get wrecked, as they say, but if you charge it, it'll turn red hot, lodge into surfaces, and then explode, causing much more damage. The same goes for the non-lethal Pep's gun arm. Tap fire for a quick gust that'll knock people over, charge it for a proper blast that'll knock people out. Fusroda! Finally, we get a look at Adam's new ability to mess around with his guns in real time. Holding the X or square button lets you examine your weapon, and from here you can add or remove attachments, change the firing pattern, and swap ammo types on the fly. Ammo types we've seen so far include EMP ammo for busting electronics and armor-piercing rounds for taking down robot targets. Try being a cyborg next time, loser. So that's Deus Ex Mankind Divided, coming our way February 23rd, 2016. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more Deus Ex, and we'll see you next time on Outside Xbox.